Happy Thursday, everybody, or should I say happy early Friday morning? I know it's very late, but thanks for staying up for us. Uh, we want to start off by talking about the President of the United States. Um, yesterday, Time magazine published an interview with Donald Trump, and when they asked if he thought the false statements that he's made have damaged his reputation, Trump replied, I can't be doing so badly because I'm president and you're not. <laughs> I'm president and you're not. I told my two-year-old daughter that he said that and she was like, dude, grow up. <laughs> like, tr Trump acts like anyone who's not the president is doing badly. I don't know, I, I feel like we're all doing pretty well, aren't we? I mean, I try to look at the bright side. Yes, we're not the president, but we're also not being investigated by the FBI for treason. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, today, the House of Republicans were furiously working to get enough votes to pass their health care bill to replace Obamacare. And right now, as it stands, they may not have enough, and the vote has been postponed. And it, right now, it's not looking good. The bill is basically on life support. And like most things on life support, Republicans will probably deny it coverage. <laughs> um, now, uh, on to some very, very incredibly important news tonight, ladies and gentlemen. There is a new set of emojis. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and they're going to be released to smartphones in June. Uh, this new set will include a hedgehog, a puking face, a brain, and a merman. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that merman emoji is going to save me a ton of time. <laughs> <laughs> a hedgehog, a vomiting face, a brain, and a merman. It's the perfect set of emojis for texting someone to let them know you just dropped way too much acid. <laughs> Can we pull up the brain emoji again, right? So this, look at that, that's the brain emoji. Now, can we all just agree right here, right now, that that is going to mean scrotum? <laughs> Can't, like, isn't that just what it's gonna be? <laughs> Eggplant, brain, we've covered all the bases. Um, finally tonight, there was a new article from ESPN, I don't know if you saw this, suggests that NBA players are performing better on the road because dating apps like Tinder allow players to have away game hookups without having to drink heavily or lose sleep. <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I don't know if NBA players should be allowed to use Tinder. What kind of hope do regular guys have if <laughs> NBA players are on Tinder? It's impossible. There'll be guys who'll be like, I think I'll check out the girls on Tinder tonight. Oh, no, wait, the Celtics are in town. <laughs> Doesn't matter, forget it. <laughs> now, <laughs> all this Tinder stuff is working so well for the NBA that the Philadelphia 76ers have actually decided to change their name to, wait for it, <laughs> there it is. Thank you very much.